It's DK and welcome back to Cars and Cribs, where I'm about to show you how to get some dividends. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. And if you're a part of the crew, you already know what to do. Throw them C's up. Throw them C's up in the comment section below. I'm about to help you guys go out there and uh, let's go so y'all can get this dough. Now, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna discuss Rody XD. First off, what is Rody XD? I know I get comments all the time. What is Rody XD? What you think about Rody XD? Tell us about Rody XD. So today we're gonna to talk about it. What is Rody XD? Rody XD is Rody's version of like a V Ho Amazon Flex, 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 Amazon Flex, um, Shift Driver, or an app like Jitsu, which is awesome. It was known as Axle Hire. So Pretty much what you're gonna do on this app is you're gonna deliver small parcels, like boxes, packages, pretty much like Amazon Flex. It's pretty similar to that. Now, now that you know what Rody XD is, we are gonna discuss where is Rody XD located? Like which cities has Rody XD? Cause it's not in every city, just so you guys know. So it's very minimum. It's probably like maybe six or seven cities. Number one is Atlanta. Number two is Chicago. Number three is Dallas. Number four, Los Angeles. Number five is Miami. Welcome to Miami. Number six, Minneapolis. I, I'm probably saying that wrong, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Number seven, New York City. And last but not least, Orlando. Now, I do want to tell you guys this. Just because I just said those cities does not mean it's in your city right now. Let me tell you how I know. How I know is because in August, Rody XD reached out, to, well, Rody sent me a thing saying that they are in Chicago, right? So I'm like, where the uh, orders at? I'm trying to give me order. I'm trying to go out here and get busy so I can make this video for y'all. Guess what? Month passed, two months passed. They didn't actually get here until like the end of October, beginning of November. And they sent that message out to me in August. So just because you hear the name of your city or a city near you on this list does not mean it's right there right now. So just give it some time so you can go out there and get on your grind. Just so you know, there is no such thing as a Rody XD app. So don't try to hear up, run, run up. I know everybody wanna, oh, they're scrambling right now. Everybody wanna try to go run and find this Rody XD app, but there's no such thing. So do not waste your time to let you know that right now. There is no such thing as a Rody XD app. They use the Rody app to do the Rody XD order. So all of it is on the same app and that app is Rody. So if you have the Rody app and this is in the city near you or in your city, then you can sign up for Rody XD. And the way you're gonna sign up is they're gonna send you an email or they might send you a text message or it might pop up an app and you're gonna sign up that way. The next thing, unfortunately, I do have some bad news for some of you guys out there. I know y'all be, hey, y'all be so mad at me about this, but unfortunately, this app is not for car. There is no car orders on here. It's only for SUVs, minivans, pickup trucks, cargo vans, and box trucks. And with the SUV, minivan, and pickup truck, you get minimum orders. You don't get to get all the orders like the uh, the cargo van and a box truck. So they go off the uh, dimensions of your vehicle. So if your dimensions of your vehicle is decent and you can fit some uh, get a good amount of packages in there, then they will send you an invitation. But if it can't, then it will not. I'm just letting you guys know that right now. Now let's get into how you receive orders. First off, you must sign up for Rody XD through the Rody app. Again, there is no such thing as a Rody XD app. It's all on the Rody app. Now, after you're signed up and it's in the city near you or in your city, guess what? Orders might start popping up. And then when they start popping up on the map, they're gonna look like this. Now, you guys just saw how everything was on the Rody app like normal. Them drawers is right on the map. You can see them. You slide, 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 and pick your order you want. If you have a SUV, minivan, or pickup truck, that is the only way you're going to see them. It's going to be right on the Rody app. You are going to see the orders just like that. For those of you that have a cargo van or a box truck, you will see the orders on the map, just like the SUV, the minivan, and pickup truck. You also can schedule yourself a block. Now, just so you guys know, this is only applies for cargo van and box trucks. It does not apply for everything else. 
What you're gonna do is, you're gonna hit the three, it's like a, a circle with four squares on a roadie app in the left hand corner. You're gonna hit that. You're gonna scroll up and you're gonna go to find blocks. When you get to find blocks, you're gonna see this. Ugh. As you guys can see with that picture right there, tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, they got the, the dates up there at the top and then they have join wait list and then under that they have sign up. If you join a wait list, it's not guaranteeing that you're gonna get a block. They're gonna put you on the sidelines just in case somebody don't show up. Then you can get their block and then you can go out there and get busy. But if you hit sign up, you are guaranteed to get a block and you will receive a minimum payment of $200 for this block. Now, for those of you that have a cargo van or a box truck, we're gonna get into the pros and cons of getting your route off the map versus getting your route from a block. Now, the good thing about getting your route off the map, guess what? You know exactly where you are going. You know where you're picking up from, you know where you're going. The bad thing about it is, you are not guaranteed to get the route. You have to submit an offering the same as you would with any other uh, roadie order. So that's the bad thing about it. Now, the good thing about getting your stuff from the block is you are guaranteed a minimum of $200. But on the other hand, the bad thing is, guess what? You do not know where you're going. You don't know how many packages you're getting. You don't know how many deliveries it is. You don't know nothing. All you know is you get a minimum of $200. Now, I do want to tell you guys this. If you schedule yourself a block, you need to make sure that you know this. This is very important. Say you scheduled a block for tomorrow, right? You are not going to know your pickup location until one hour before it is time for you to get to the block, to the pickup location. They're not going to tell you where the pickup location is at if it's your first time. So if you already know, then you already know. You need to be at the pickup location for, for, for some routes at 8.30 and then some at 9.30. So, and then it's some other times too. But for the most part, you will not know the pickup address until one hour before you need to pick up the route. So do not be panicking because I, I ain't gonna lie. I definitely panic. I'm like, when are they gonna tell me where I'm supposed to go? When are they gonna tell me? I had to wait all the way until one hour before. I know, I know, I know. You are ready to go out there and get busy. You finally got yourself a block or you found your route on the map. Now you're trying to run up this bag, no cap. I understand, I understand, but hold your horses down, baby. Before you get to the crosstalk, this is stuff you need to know. This is coming directly from Rody. This is what they said. You need to wear closed toe shoes. You have to, this is a must. Number two, don't bring any passengers with you unless they are also registered with Rody and they're in good standing. If they're not in good standing, they're not a Rody driver, you cannot bring any passengers with you. And I want to tell you right now, this is serious because when I went to go do my route, guess what? They asked that we both have Rody apps and they want to see them. Next up, you cannot bring any animals with you unless they are registered service animals. Next up, when you pull up to the Rody XD uh, cross dock warehouse, they want you to wear a safety vest. You're gonna have to ask them for a vest if you don't have one. Now, guess what? When you get to the cross dock, you must bring your driver's license as well as your insurance. They're trying to make sure you ain't trying to finesse. You need to bring your driver's license and you need to bring your insurance. Once you get there, the orders are not gonna be on your phone yet. You're gonna pull up there, you're gonna sit there, you're gonna wait a little bit, and it's gonna be loading orders. They're, they're trying to find a route for you. They're trying to see who's gonna get what route. So you're gonna sit there, sit there, sit there, and then eventually what's gonna happen is the people who are assisting you, they're gonna come to your window. They don't need to see the batch ID of your order. You gotta show them the batch ID. They're gonna ask for your license. They're gonna ask for the uh, insurance. So you gotta show them all that. When you pull in, you need to turn, matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you this. We pull in this zone right now. We had to turn our hazards on and pull up so we can run it up. They got the bins over here. Y'all see them on the side. <coughs> we hear the slide. So she said, pull up right here. Then right when you get in here, you gotta turn your engine off and get out the van so we can get these bins. Let's get it. Now, another thing you need to know is you, my friend, are responsible for loading your own vehicle. They don't work for you. All they gonna do is bring you the pallet uh, the pallet with all these boxes on there. And it's on you to load your vehicle. And I want to tell you guys a secret when you get there, right? I want to say this, take your time. It's all about prep work. You need to prep, 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 prep. I know y'all don't get it. What you mean by prep? You need to prep. Let me give you an example. If you're about to paint a car, right? And you got Bondo pest all on it, globbed all on it right there. And you try to paint it, you're going to see all the globs. This is what you need to do. When you get in there, you need to put, some people do it different. Everybody do it different. Some people put 
all their stops by city. They put the city right here, all the stops right there, their city and their vehicle. And they put the other city right here, the other city right here. What we did was, we first we got in there. I ain't gonna lie, I messed up. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. We got in there, we just put all the boxes, we trying to hear them get out the warehouse. Cause it's kinda, it's kinda warm in that joint. You go, we pulled outside, and then what we did was we put all of our orders in the circuit app. What is a circuit app? A circuit app is an optimization app where they're gonna put your orders, they were gonna put your orders in order to make you do use the least amount of gas and make you take the best route. You wanna put your first stop in and then you wanna put your last stop as your house if that's where you're going home. So it's gonna optimize everything so it's gonna save you time while you're out there on the ground. Then you know right now. Now, this circuit app gonna cost you $20 a month. I understand that I don't got no $20. I know that you don't wanna pay the $20, but it's gonna save you way more money and way more time in the long run. Now, once you got everything in the circuit app, you're gonna put them in order. You're gonna start, that's what we do. We number them with a uh, Sharpie. One, two, three, four, and then you just place them in your van in the order that you got them in. So right when you get to the stop, all you gotta do is, uh, and you gone. That's all you gotta do. So it's all about prep work. I understand that you don't wanna be cooped up in this vehicle, moving all these boxes and all that stuff, and taking all this own time, I get it. But it's gonna make it way easier on you when you get to the house. You ain't gonna have to scramble through all the boxes. It's gonna be sitting right there, right where you need them. Oh, wait, 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 I forgot. When you, before you uh, put everything in your vehicle, you need to scan the packages. You're gonna have to scan the packages when you pick the items up. And you're also gonna have to scan them when you get to the customer's house. Okay. So which one am I supposed to scan? This one or this one? We are finished, baby. You good? Yes, sir. No problem. Are oh, you making sure you don't touch nobody's phone? I, I don't blame you. I mean, I want to touch it, but I ain't want to, you know. In baby okay. prophecy. <laughs> All right, thank you. Have a good one. I do want to tell you this: you need to follow the directions in the Roadie app. Also, if there's any issues at the drop-off, you need to contact the customer first. Do not contact Roadie yet. You need to contact the customers, see what they want to do. If they have to sign for it or whatever they may have to do, you need to contact them first. Try to get everything situated because you do not want to go to the customer house and have to call Roadie, and it's gonna take three thousand years. Reach out to the customer, and then you are going to go ahead and do what you need to do. You know, my flow taking them through. So you're going to get there at the house. You're going to scan the packages. You're going to take this package to the door. Then you're going to step back, hit them with the photo. You already know, though. We're going to put up a uh, Skoto. And I want to say this. Make sure, if you can, to get the address and the delivery. I have a habit of not doing that. That's just my thing. I'll be trying to move too fast to get this cash. So that's on me. But I want you to do better than me. Make sure that you get the address and the photo. Stop number one, we're here to get the job done. Shout out to everybody at Sunrun. Look, when you get to the house, make sure you slide that you arrive, and then you gotta hit it with the scan ski so you can get these bands, G. If you're not hitting with the scan ski, you are not gonna be able to drop off the package. If you want it, you can have it, let's go. Just like that, we are here at stop number one to get the job done. Again, shout out to everybody at Sunrun. We're about to get these funds, we're about to run it up. If you're hating, so what? Guess what, we love getting these bucks. So I'm gonna put this joint, leave it by the front door. We say we left about a front door. Now we gotta step back and with the photo. You already know though. We gone. And that is pretty much it. I do want to say one more thing before we go. Don't forget that if you do a block, you have a minimum of 200. You're not gonna know your stops and everything until you get there. Once you get there, then that's where you're gonna know all the stops you have, and that's how that's when you're gonna know how much you're gonna get paid so you can pull up on a new escalade. But I also wanna say this for any one of you out there that know more about this Rody XD stuff than me, because this is my first time ever doing it, so I don't know everything. I do know some stuff, but I don't know everything. And huge shout out to my guy Jonathan. He he a part of the crew, he throw them C's up. He a part of the crew, and he also part of the MGM. He put me on a lot of game when it comes to Rody XD because I have no idea what I'm doing. So I got a lot of information from him. So huge shout out to him. Anybody else that know any information, put it down in the comment section. This video is to help everybody out with the Rody XD thing. So y'all can pull up and get green. But guess what? Tomorrow, on the next video, I'm going to drop my first Rody XD route. When I do the route, I want the money out the cloud. So make sure you guys lock in and stay tuned because it's going down because we ain't playing around because all 2024, all we're doing is put up the uh, let's go. But guess what? We got to go. I will see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know that, DDK. And I'm on my way.